get these finger picks going. So typically, when you're playing a dobro, um, you're going to have a thumb pick that usually has a plastic tip. A lot of times the band will be plastic too. Uh, this particular pick that I use is a blue chip pick. A little more uh, expensive. Most of them are, are all plastic. Um, but this one just happens to have a metal band with the plastic tip that actually hits the string. But you're going to put it on your thumb just as I did there with that end hanging out. It's where it can uh, strike the string that way. And that pick part is, is hanging out the bottom part of my thumb. And then with the finger picks, this is just kind of the brand I use. These are actually brass. You're going to find some with different materials. Um, brass is usually just a little bit softer of, of an attack, slightly, not, not a huge difference. Um, I'm constantly trying new things anyway. But uh, these are going to might look a little different than the picks that you have in terms of the band. But all picks, they're going to function the same. They all have a blade that's going to strike the strings. So the first thing that uh, a lot of people do when they get finger picks, um, they're going to put them on this way. And that's actually going to be backwards. So what you want is you want that blade on the bottom part of your finger. Essentially that blade is kind of act acting as if you had a longer finger now. You kind of get them nice and snug on there. Some players, a lot of players, will like to kind of bend their blade back even more on their finger, over the top of their finger to get a warmer sound. These particular picks kind of just fit my the contour of my finger nicely. So I just kind of leave them the same so far. Um, again, I'm always trying to get them comfortable. So these picks are Acri picks. Um, A-C-R-I, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, they're just really comfortable on my fingers. Uh, really popular finger picks that a lot of players use are the pro picks that have the double band. Those are great too. But again, you know, try as many as you want. They all function the same. They're all supposed to do the same thing. So you'll notice when you first get them on and you hit a string, it's going to feel extremely awkward. You know, if, especially if you're coming from guitar or something where you're just finger picking with your fingers. It's going to sound, uh, feel and sound kind of awkward to you, that, that, that screeching, that screeching metal on metal sound. So what you got to do at first is just kind of get used to the picks, playing with the picks. And it, it might take a couple weeks, depending on how much you practice, could take longer. Um, but they will settle in, you'll, you'll learn to like them and you will not be able to play without them after a while. Um, most basic thing that you can do, because you got to find out what angle you want your hand at, what angle you want your guitar at, you can on your lap, you can kind of test different angles to where you can get the cleanest sound possible. And you're not going to get a perfectly clean sound usually. You know, there's always going to be a little bit of that metal on metal sound, but you can clean it up as much as possible. Um, but the first thing you can do is just kind of do a roll, like a one, two, three roll. So thumb, index, middle is what I'm doing. You can do the, you can do that roll on any three strings. Right? And like I said, you know, you want to have your kind of your. I usually have my bottom part of my palm on the palm rest over here. change the angle of where your elbow is at. To figure out where you get the cleanest sound. If your picks aren't hurt, hitting the string directly, it's going to get a screeching sound. Right? So it kind of scrapes on those, especially on the wound strings kind of a nasty scrape sound, but if you hit it kind of more direct, you get just a, a slight click sound, which is a lot more pleasant than that. So it's all about kind of finding your comfort zone, and the best way to do that, like I said, is just to start doing a forward roll. Starting slow. 
Um, and the other thing is that you kind of want to look for down the road is you, you want your note to be louder than your pick attack. So don't be afraid to dig in a little bit, you know, there's always a limit, you don't have to play as hard as you can. Um, I'm not sure what all the mic's picking up here, it's pretty close to my left hand, so it might be picking up a lot of pick noise. Um, but uh, yeah, making sure you, you're playing strong enough that your notes are going to be loud. You want the your note to kind of be louder than your, your attack, if possible. Thank you.